Right, a campfire survivor has gone viral. Her tweet has gone viral uh, after she tweeted about making the dean's list at Chico State. Action News Now reporter Amy Lansky spoke to the recovering addict about how she has stayed sober in a hard five years. I tweet occasionally and I usually get like one response, so that was overwhelming. <laughs> I mean, wonderful. Like, it's nice to know that people care so much and they're so supportive. I wasn't expecting anything like that. 53 year old Kimberly Sullivan tweeted this tweet, which grabbed the attention of hundreds of thousands of Twitter users. The tweet simply shared a little about her struggle with drug addiction and her excitement of making the Dean's List in her first semester at Chico State. On my 49th birthday, I woke up in Butte County Jail again, and um, I was clean. Uh, there are a lot of drugs in jail, but I was clean at that moment, and that's what started my recovery. Sullivan explained she had no outside skills to return to a clean life after jail, but that time, it was different. AB 109 um, caught me up. They put me on an ankle monitor and they released me to a rehab, the Salvation Army. And so that gave me a chance. And so I decided to run with it. The single mom of four lost her home in the campfire. Then about a year and a half later, because of COVID-19, she got laid off of her part-time job through the county, but says that that gave her time to go back to school. It's been really hard. Um, I was assaulted in the FEMA trailer after the fire, like nine months after the fire. And so that um, just sent me into a tailspin. I, I haven't done it because of my kids, but honestly, I've sat in my room and cried on many occasions. Sullivan says she's pursuing a bachelor's in psychology and a master's in social work. Reporting from Chico, Amy Lansky, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. And Sullivan said she never expected this kind of support from people, but hopes her success can help others who are struggling.